Hello all. Just finished a workout with my son-in-law Bryce and honestly, I think he's trying to kill me. <clears throat> but before I clean up and get started on my day, I want you to tell you what I want to tell you what's on my mind. In a few days, Becky and I are going to speak at a missionary summit in the Dallas Fort Worth area, and I've been asked to speak on the topic nurturing the soul of the missionary on the field. So, for the last few days or so, I've been spending my time in 2 Timothy chapter 4, where Paul is in prison, his second Roman imprisonment. He notes that all of his friends have left him and that he knows his death is near. And you get a picture of a man who's discouraged, maybe a little bit depressed. What's he going to do? He says, Timothy, I need for you to come quickly. I need your company. But also, when you come, bring the books and the parchments. Now, that's an interesting thought. Bring the books and the parchments. Now, your guess is as good as mine as to what those books were. But my best guess is that they were copies of Old Testament books, especially the parchments, the vellum parchments. Those scrolls may have been books of the Old Testament. And in this condition of despair and discouragement and sadness and loneliness, what does Paul do? He gets into the Word. Hey friend, if you're discouraged and want to be encouraged, if you want to lift up your eyes, get into the Word of God. Read it, meditate on it, study it, and you'll be amazed at how much better you'll feel. Until next time, I'll see you later.